こっちこっちやっと来たねあれなんかちっこいのを拾ったって聞いたけどどこわからない。から出てきたいい匂い北楽野原の時も今みたいにこうビュッて出たってことはいあの時残像と戦っている最中に醸造から感じた強い力の揺らぎあいじした2つの力が衝突し激しい振動の後負けた一方が消えてゆくそんな風に感じましたですが紀元将軍と漂白者さんと合流しようやく分かりましたその後体が心配だったこともあり私たちは漂白者さんを連れてすぐに研究員へ向かい白紙を訪ねましたのの結果分かったのはこの子こそが漂白者さんの体内にある空間あるいは生物だったということ<音楽>ですがこの子の周波数は残像を構成する残響と近くどちらかというと。データドックに変えられた音階と似ていますでもその宿主はデバイスではなく漂白者さんです漂白者さんから離れることができない一人で行動することができないつまりこの子は漂白者さん専用音階と考えられます白紙が出した結論はここまでです周波数エナジーを吸収したのはあなた自身なのかそれともこの子なのかそれとも両者の力が合わさった結果なのか<音楽>それに対して白紙はこのように解析しています。漂白者さんの体内に無感者と同源かつそれ以上に強い力が存在していることが分かりましたおそらく北楽野原で倒したあの残像の力ですこの子が吸収したはずの力がなぜか漂白者さんの中にあり混ざり合っているつまりこの子と漂白者さんは恩外と宿主の関係だけでなく共存の関係にありますそうですね漂白者さんとこの子は別の存在なのですがもう一方の影響を受けることがあります。体力や体調に左右されたり相手と近いもしくは同様の感性を持つといった具合にですつまり片方が強くなるともう一方はそれ相応に強くなるでも片方が傷ついたらもう一方がその痛みを感じる可能性もあります幸いこの子は単独で活動できません攻撃を受けることはまずないでしょう万が一誰かに狙われても漂白者さんの体に入って身を隠すこともできますえーとこんなものだったかな白紙召集に現れたソナラに行ってしまって。本当は彼女の口から直接お話しするべきだったのですが私が代わりに説明させていただきましたま待て
待て待て情報量多すぎえっとつまりこのちっこいのが一緒に面識を倒したってこと本当かなこんなちっこいなのどこにあんなデカブツと戦える力が。実はすごいんだぞいや違った我はすごいんだぞけんをやったあの冷たい女もびっくりしてたな。我は波の恩返じゃない蝶が何個もつくとんでもないレアモンだってた確かに少し大げさかもしれませんねでも略師が驚いていたのは事実です。以外の国ではもっと知能が高い恩返も存在していて人々の生活に関わっていると聞いたことがありますしかしそれは希少な事例で私そして生態の研究者である白紙でさえ見たことがありませんもしこの子がその恩返の一種ならきっと白紙も驚く大発見ということなのでしょうことはこいつのことが分かれば同じような恩返をもっと見つけられるかもキエン将軍と白紙が言ってることなら間違いないしね<音楽>それになんてったってあんたのことだしな。伝説と同じように体に残響を取り込んじゃうんだもんこいつと出会ってビューッと体に吸い込めるようになったってそうおかしくないよそれでお前どこで漂白者に吸収されたかは覚えてるかうえそんなの知ったこっちゃいやそんなのこいつに聞けばいいじゃんそそうそう、吸収されたのは明らかに記憶喪失の前に起きたことだしでも恩返は召喚された後のことしか記憶できませんよねだからこの子もふはん、話のわかるやつがいたな。同じことをあの緑の仏頂面にも聞かれたけど北北楽野原よりも前のことは一切記憶にないんだ多分こいつの体の中でずっと眠ってたからな眠ってる間のことは分からなくても仕方ないだろ眠ってたあんないろんなことが起きてあんないっぱい戦ってたのに何も聞こえてなかったのそれもあんな長い間ぐっすり寝すぎだろうんうんプライバシーは重要だもんなわかるわかる安心しろよお前の体の中は妙に心地いいんだ中に入ったら一瞬で眠くなって何も聞こえなくなる厄介なのはいつ目が覚めて外に出れるのかわからないことだなそれに外に出てもすぐ腹が減って眠くなってそれでまた中に戻っちゃううんやっぱり腹が減ってるのが全ての原因だ。
前急に現れてすぐ消えたのはそれが原因だったのですね確かに恩外はデバイスのエネルギーが不足していると力を発揮できないことがそっかいろいろと普通の恩外と違うのかもとなると名前もまだないってことだよなみんながちびっこちびっこって呼んでたからてっきりそれが名前かと思ったよ名前マネそれそのものの呼び方つまりあなたをどう呼ぶかということですね我の名前全然覚えてない我名前がないダメだそれは他のやつにはあるのに我だけないのは嫌だ何がちびっこだ適当すぎるお前が言うような特徴も威厳もないじゃないかそうだ名前をつけてくれ代わりに食べ物を分けて。もうなかったじゃあさ今度うまいものがあれば取っといてやるからとにかく我に名前をつけてくれないか名前を今そう今だだって。お前がシカでお前はヤンヤンだろあとお前は変な名前あれ確か記憶喪失なんだっけじゃあこれは名前がないのは不便ですし何より新しい名前は新しい人生を歩み始めた証となります。お前まとめるのうまいなお前らは全員名前がある我もちゃんともちろんもっと覇気があって特別ですごく強い感じの名前でも全然いいんだぞいちどつけられたら一生使う名前なんだぞ適当につけて後から後悔しても遅いんだ。それもそうかうーん強くて覇気があるスーパースペシャルダイナミック恩外絶対嫌だなんだその安直なネーミングセンスはちびっこと変わんないじゃんなんか変で飛べるから空飛ぶヒーロー空飛ぶ戦士空飛ぶ義足やだやだやだお前は何言ってるんだよ我が求めてるのはなこうこうこうってなんだよ私は翼の英雄って呼ばれてすごく嬉しいよ覇気だってあるしそそうかとにかく我の名前としては不十分だがきっといい名前をってえー、なんか適当すぎないまさかお前も何も考えてくれないのかう
短いし覚えやすいしあんなスーパーなんとかよりは全然いいただあんまり特別感と覇気がないけど。黙ってるけど気に入らないのだろうか短いし覚えやすいしユーモアもあるこんないい名前はそうそうないあぶあえなんだってラーとかクとか呪文あぶまあ言いづらいでも我の名前はこんな感じかなってせっかく漂白者がつけてくれた新しい名前だからなまだちょっと慣れないけど。今から我はアブだ今度ちびっこなんて言ったら容赦しねえからな分かった分かった最初はチビアブの出自をたどって手がかりを探そうって思ったけどこれって結局名前をつけただけだよね本当に何の手がかりもないのでも。もしアブの出自が分かれば何かのヒントになるかもしれないよねレイン様と採取を待たなくても漂白者のことをもっと分かるかもでしたらアブの能力について調べてみませんかアブは特別な力を持っていますそれも名式に抗えるようなとても強力な力ですなのでその能力と現存のデータを対比すればアブのこともわかるはずですなんであんたはそこで疑うんだよ現場にいたんじゃないのじゃあアブの力見せてくれる正直私も興味津々なんだ何かつ<笑>しょうがないな見せてやろうじゃないかでもここは屋内でやりづらい少し移動しないかふふん見るがよいわけじゃないぞ前は漂白者の前に我は立ってただけ面識だっけあれは勝手に倒れたつまり何もしてなそんな言い方ないだろう言っただろう我はずっと眠ってて何も知らないってあの時は急に
強くてうまそうな周波数の匂いがしてそれがどんどん近づいてきて。だから特に何かしようとしたわけじゃないんだただ外に出てこうバーンって防いでということはアブの能力は自分の意思で発動することができないあるいは何かしら条件が必要ということですかもしかしてまだうまく扱うことができないとか一理あるな。漂白者の大概にとどまることもろくにできないしお,おいそこまで言わなくたって我はただ本調子じゃなかっただけだ。適当に防いだだけであんななんだぞ本気で戦ったら天変地異が起きちゃうんだぞだからこれから危ないって感じた時はおとなしく我の後ろに下がるといいやる時はちゃんとやるからな律儀だねもちろんだ我はとても強いからなこいつを守らなきゃダメなんだうんこれでまた振り出しに戻りましたねそうなると残る手がかりは漂白者に関しては謎ばっかりだからななんなら白紙が戻ったら総理も呼んできて今週いや全交流の研究員が一緒にアブをじっくり研究しさせるかあの冷たい女も同じことを言ってきたがもちろん却下だ。そうですね今のアブはいわゆる漂白者さんの切り札ですあなたとアブの関係は謎に満ちていますですがあなたが記憶を取り戻した暁にはおのずとその答えも明らかになるはずです。最初は未来を見通す力を持っているあなたがレイン様の言葉と最初の予言を聞いて北楽野原へ向かったように全てはその予言通りに動いていますそして名式が起こした危機が去った今もう一度レイン様と最初に出会うことができればあなたが追い求める全ても明らかになるでしょう。心配しない心配しない最初ってやつとあって記憶を取り戻すってだけだ我が一緒にいれば問題ないしかし未来を見通すか随分と強そうに聞こえるなそいつ名前もいい我に劣らない覇気を感じる。どんなやつなんだどこで会える会いに行くなら客人としてかだったら何かごちそうがあればいいんだけど最初は私たちを守ってくれる存在強くて当然だよしっかしまた食べ物の話かさっきまであんなに食べてたのにお前の胃袋は底なしか仕方ないだろお腹空いちゃうんだからグリーディングズローバー What can I help you with today?
I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is not in the City Hall. She has left for Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Praxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madame Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thronodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat of the Thronodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. Not that I'm hungry or anything. I just tend to doze off easily. Feels like my body can only process what I consume while sleeping. And don't worry, if there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork, just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. <laughs>
Are you trapped here by the rain? I happen to be waiting for someone too. I am Chun Li, your wayfinder. Don't worry. The rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm, where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside. But outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers. That could explain the temporal disruptions, which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your Wayfinder. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jin Shi left for Mount Firmament, Scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening.
those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. I need to tell you the truth, because you've been the top priority, no, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That Overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out.
The bridge has broken. Judging by its design and intricate details, it must be a creation of the Court of Savante. This is what they call a Chronos Order. It mimics the Sentinel's temporal mandate able to reverse small-scale events and restore objects to their previous state. My master once told me about the Court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions such as this Kronos Order. But... it doesn't add up. Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? This Kronos Order was built beyond the Temporal Barrier, so, its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. How did such advanced technology become lost? Or... Do these Chronos Orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? This Chronos Order, weathered though it may appear, bears no signs of neglect. Someone has tended to it diligently. Let's give it a try. The entrance is sealed. It's the Photon Barrier. Another invention from the Court of Savante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. So it can't hurt me. Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier. But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruptions. What was once slow and steady has become chaotic 
and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongzhen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. What's the matter? You dreamed of Hongzhen? It sounds like you did dream of this place. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our Grand Library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huanglong. Hongzhen suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended manipulating time to erect a protective barrier, keeping those monsters at bay. Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. It could be a glimpse into your own past and a guiding light for the future. Hongjin is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, 
They'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. But every trap has its weak points. Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi. And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongjin? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hongzhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. That's what they call it in Hongzhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. Lady Shenyi, please elaborate. Madam Magistrate, are you...? I'm... fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much-needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. But little did they know, we had a defense system in place, built with the help of the Court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our Sentinel made it back inside.
This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops, and we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun chamber. To get inside Mianlun chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xingyi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlong Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus potential ret- We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jingxi. We'll distract the Fraxidus main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. 
Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt him. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have him here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need his help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. We already owe Rover a lot. As we headed toward Mount Firmament, Rover mentioned a strange dream he had. It may have been a flashback of his lost memories. Rover, Jue, and Mount Firmament. There must be some kind of crucial connection between the three. Rover also has his own reasons for being here. I see. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Jinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue. 
but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, Nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronosorders, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live, and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li... I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. He is also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If 
anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xing Yi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Please don't forget. I am your Wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinshi. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Yes, they've been constantly watching you, interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Ah, 
Oh, speak of the devils. How we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. The Mianlung Chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. Chang Li was right. They used the Court of Cervantes' research to trap our sentinel in its resting chamber. They use the chrono sorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the chrono sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the sentinel would clash with the energy of the chrono sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. What if the Fraxidus modified those chrono sorters? A whole bunch of them pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, 
the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, Perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then, I was too young to remember anything. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinxi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I am a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinjo. But now I have returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. <sighs> no matter what happens or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest spines.
chronosorters nearby may have frozen this body of water and time. Or, it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. I can feel the Sentinel's presence inside. But it's not responding. Tacit discords terrorized the land. The region of Jinjo was under siege. A mother and her newborn child were hiding in ruins, trying to avoid the deadly creatures. They weren't safe for long, as the tacit discord found them. The mother sacrificed herself to protect her child. But with her gone, it was difficult for the newborn to survive. In a couple of minutes, its loud cries gradually died out. Fortunately, the newborn's cries echoed through the forest with a unique resonance that reached the ears of the mighty Sentinel. With a burst of energy, our Sentinel dispelled the surrounding evils. But sadly, it was too late. That night, Mount Firmament shook with the roars of a lull, and dark clouds gathered. The Sentinel returned with a dead infant in its embrace. As if by magic, Somber clouds parted, and shooting stars lit up the sky. With Mount Firmament's unique flow of time, the Sentinel brought the deceased infant back to life. The resurrected infant became known as, as the, the Sentinel's Sentinel. appointed resonator, and went on to become the Magistrate of Jinjo. in Jinjo my whole life, and never ventured into Hongjen. Yet even I know of the legend. To me, Jue is more than just our sentinel, or a revered divine being. It raised me and saved me from certain death. been thinking about it on our way here. If the Sentinel predicted our fight, why would it even bother saving me in the first place? Now I understand why. Because I am the Sentinel's resonator. I may not have any extraordinary abilities, 
but I do possess the temporal program that it accidentally lost. If Jinju ever faces a similar time crisis, I... I might be the only one who can set things right. In our Sentinel's prediction, the battle between us is supposed to happen in the distant future. He had been waiting for an opportunity, a right moment to tell me the truth. That's why it didn't explain. Now may not be the opportunity the Sentinel has been waiting for, but my body cannot hold up much longer. I have to go and face it while I still can, to learn about the truth or complete our destined battle. Give up my duty. I never thought about it. To be honest, I did doubt myself many times. It was the endless kindness of you, Chung Li, Xing Yi, and everyone in Jinzhou that gave me the courage to push on. Even Jue's decision to bring me back to life. Whether out of pity or not, I am truly grateful. The thought of it warms my heart every time. Jinjo holds everything that's dear to me. Even without the title of Magistrate, I could never leave Jinjo behind. I'm okay. The pain I'm feeling is nothing compared to those trapped in the temporal disruptions. I must find the Sentinel as soon as possible. We draw from the same source of power. Saving it means saving myself. If there is truly no other option in the end... Then I will have to fight it. I refuse to back down. I will fight. To protect the Sentinel and to defend Jin Zhou. One life may be lost, but many will be saved. If it means keeping everyone safe, then I have no regrets giving my own life. But let me make one thing clear. I am not planning on dying yet. I am here to fight for a chance at survival, no matter how slim that chance may be. We're not in a situation where death is our only option, are we? Thank you for placing your trust in me. Come to think of it, many good things have happened to me since you arrived in Jinzhou. Thank you, Rover. My teacher Chung Li told me it's up to both of us to solve the crisis at Mount Firmament. As I know you have a special connection with our Sentinel, I need your support in this decision. But 
Don't worry. I'm prepared. This isn't about succumbing to destiny. It's about embracing it. Fully. I am grateful to have you by my side through it all. It has been quite some time. And greetings, Lord Arbiter. Or should one address you as Rover now? Hm. One cannot discern the cause of your arrival. Yet its significance heralds Jinjo's fateful juncture. Shall a child who has lost their memories take up arms and fight for their fate? Or shall they retreat to their cradle and slumber? The seed of the future shall be sown in this very moment. Once the situation settles, an explanation shall be provided. For now, one must implore you to simply engage, decide, and observe. Jinji, your journey has been an arduous one. Aside from aiding one in this predicament, surely there are other inquiries you wish to make. I cannot bring myself to ask for more. All I seek is the truth. Mount Firmament is in grave danger. Regarding the temporal mandate and your injuries, please do not keep the truth from me any longer. One understands your concerns. The timing may not be optimal for this disclosure, yet in the midst of crisis, one must act with expedience. For one will soon perish. Oh. One such as this, of immortal nature, is designed to endure for all time. Yet one suffered severe harm in ancient times, and now relies on the Yanlong Chamber for survival. This is not the optimal solution.
For a long time, one has had to use this chamber to replenish energy, hoping to delay the inevitable doom. Yet fate cannot be defied. The Fraxidus have conspired against this one. Now, the injury only worsens. The Myanlong Chamber can no longer prolong one's life. Jinjo. The city of Jinjo will be no more. Ever since one descended upon Mount Firmament, using the power of temporal mandate to repel tacit discords, time has been in disarray within this location. The fate of Jinjo was sealed from that moment on. Over the past millennia, one has defied the laws of nature and sustain Jinjo at the cost of one's own life force. Otherwise, the temporal disruption would wreak havoc not only on Mount Firmament, but on the entire region of Jinjo. If this were to happen, all life will be engulfed in a chaotic storm of twisted time flow. Jinjo shall forever remain frozen in time. The past and the future melt into one, rendering life indistinguishable from death. The ceremonial rituals and endless battles persist, intertwining joy and sorrow into an eternal blur. All inhabitants of Jinjo shall endure this perpetual fate until time itself ceases to exist. It is this one's own doing, and one must put an end to it. In the coming days, one will exert every ounce of strength to freeze the time in Jinjo at the cost of one's remaining life. In that moment, Jinjo will fall into stillness, but not perish. In the distant future, the people of Wanlong may discover a method to rescue Jinjo. Is there truly nothing else we can do? This is not the optimal solution, but it suffices as an option. Please, forgive me. But I cannot do as you say. A decade? A century? What if nobody comes up with a solution? By that time, the world will have turned its back on this forgotten city. And who would be willing to spend precious resources Rescuing a small city in a far-off corner of the world. Jinjo's fate deserves better than an uncertain future. Whilst one may not live to witness the future, 
One can still envision endless possibilities yet to come. In my deduction, this method proves to be the most effective and stable. Magistrate Jinji, as you express doubts, pray tell how do you propose to solve this issue? The flow of time upon Mount Firmament is in disarray, and it can only be contained through one's utmost effort. If one does not freeze the time now, the situation in Jinjo shall surely worsen a hundredfold, or even a thousandfold, after one's passing. You once predicted a destined battle between us. Is it true? Correct. I was lost at first, struggling to grasp the prophecy's meaning. Only when I learned of your actions alongside the court of Savante did it all become clear. By clashing two resonating powers, a second resonance awakening can be induced. Through this, I am able to push my resonance ability beyond its limits and invoke the temporal mandate to restore the flow of time. Though I will be forced to raise my blade against you. Ridiculous! If you clash with my resonance power, even the smallest mistake will result in overclocking and leave you nothing but an empty husk. You are well aware of its excruciating effects. The pain you feel now is but a faint scratch in comparison to its true torment. Moreover, you will be trapped within the fissures of time itself. Your being will be relentlessly shredded and mended day after day, denied any respite for eternity. But I can restore the errors in the flow of time. Isn't that why you saved me all those years ago? I'm just doing what you've been doing all along. Going against fate to keep Jinjo safe. Jinshi, you are given one last opportunity. Let me freeze the time, and I can ensure your safety. You are only here to witness before the right time arrives. But you are not compelled to remain idle. Should you intervene, you may augment Jinshi's odds of survival by a fraction. Command me to transfer my temporal mandate access to Jinshi at the right moment.
the moment of her resonance ability's depletion, when she is teetering on the brink of overclocking and near death, then we may still save her life. Miss that moment by even the slightest margin, and Jin Shi's fate will be sealed. I should have died a long time ago. But I was lucky enough to be saved by you. Allowing me the chance to see the glittering lights of Jinjo for myself. You rewinded time to save me. I am responsible. Jinjo is my home. If it's ever in danger, I will do everything in my power to protect what I hold dear even at the cost of my own life. Such a valiant speech. Do you know the weight of this decision? I understand your concerns. I will reach my second awakening with our destined confrontation and restore the time flow. Are you willing to bet on me? Restore the time flow? Pray, from where does this confidence arise? You are my resonator, but your strength is only a fraction of mine. There is little chance for you to retreat unscathed. But I can at least win some hope for our people. Even if it costs me my soul, my everything, I cannot die without trying. I may only bear your power for a fleeting moment. It's all I need to secure a better future for Jin Jo, defying all of your predictions. And I can keep you safe. If there is anyone who can face you in a fight, that person has to be your resonator. I will be your final winning move in this game. <laughs> Are you truly ready to challenge a being worshipped by your kind? Will you not regret it when you meet your bitter demise? I will not regret it, no matter what. Very well, Magistrate of Jinjo. Come to the summit. Demonstrate your prowess. Show me how you shall be my triumphant ace. <laughs> Lord Arbiter, one is curious about your choice this time. Wherever the tides may take us, you will bear witness to our fight. Government must be guided by virtue. Chi, do you keep this in mind? Yes. Virtue must come first. Politics, commerce, it all must serve the people. From now on, you shall be known as Jinshi, bearing Jinjo's name as your own. What do you think of this world? Like... here. Darkness clings, but lights flicker in the gloom. A guiding light's not easily lit. That's why they stand out so brightly against the darkness.
This entrance leads to one Sonoro Sphere. Magistrate Jinchi, one shall await you there. This battle is related to the fate of Jinjo, and only you can open this Sonoro Sphere. The key to Jinjo's future lies in your hands. If I open it, Jinshi is bound to face you in the ultimate battle. The ideal outcome would be for her to absorb your power at the critical moment and restore the time flow without any loss of life. But there's a chance that she could push herself too far and end up dying from overclocking. Though, if I do nothing, you'll use your remaining power to freeze all of Jinjo in time. Hurry! Now, please let us know your choice. Rover. I have been preparing for this moment. Leaving Jinjo behind fills me with regret. Knowing I may never again bask in its glorious sunshine, or witness the purity of its snowflakes. But that's why I'm here. To ensure that others can still experience the wonders of nature. Our city has a rich history, with generations witnessing endless sunrises, and sunsets at the border. Our people have sacrificed their blood and tears to protect Huanglong's safety. They deserve a bright future. I want to protect Jinjo in my own way. As Jinshi, as a citizen of Jinjo, and as Jinjo's magistrate. Let's begin.
Lord Arbiter. Huh? May this one transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi. This one has heard your decision. Has recovered. One will soon send her back to Jinjo for recuperation. Please do not worry. With all matters resolved, as per the agreement, it is time for one to address. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. I am Jue the Sentinel, the guide of Jinjo's civilization. Everything about Jinjo has been stored in my mind. are my arbiter and my former master. In bygone days, I stood by your side as you established Jinjo City. You tasked me with safeguarding its prosperity. This one begs your pardon for it is not all-knowing. All my knowledge came from you. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. In the past, one was granted the key to that Sonoro Sphere by your hand. You said you planned to participate in history, to make choices and witness the development of civilizations. One had previously requested for permission to transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi, as that is how one is designed to function. Every ounce of my existence from life to death, and even the passing on of power, is subject to your approval. 
one who is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Since Jin Chi has inherited my power, the temporal programs are now complete. Jin Zhou is no longer under threat. Jin Shi has fully assumed the mantle of leadership. From this day forth, one shall only offer it when it is truly needed. This situation has been analyzed before, but the number of variables made reaching a safe conclusion impossible. To accomplish a goal, Jinshi must possess both strength and confidence. Revealing the truth to her earlier would only add to her troubles and not aid in improving her abilities. Today was not the ideal moment for our destined battle to unfold, but the Fraxidus has remarkably escalated its arrival. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. The flow of time on Mount Firmament has been restored to its natural pace. But the citizens of Hongzhen must still contend with shortened lifespans should they attempt to depart. Fortunately, with Jin Shi's resonance ability, they can stay safe as long as they remain on the mountain. For lack of a better solution, this is the best we can do. Through countless ages, the imposing Mount Firmament stood firm against the storms. But as spring brings thunder, and change, one feels a spark of transformation in the air. The people of Hongzhen have a bright future ahead, one that can be steered in the right direction within mere days with proper leadership. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Your tacit mark. There is something unusual. Like the unnatural smell I smelled in Jinjo before. Oh, so you must be that sentinel. <laughs> Hello there, big one. Rover, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I got a feeling I missed out on a lot of fun.
It does feel similar to me, but there is some difference. This entity is unfamiliar to me, as it resides within your tacit mark. One can only assume you granted it access intentionally. Lord Arbiter, have you heard of the Black Shores? The Black Shores is the starting point of your journey in this world. If you have doubts, this one suggests a visit to that island. Mount Firmament glowed with the sun's light, high above the clouds and snow. Then, suddenly, they vanished, revealing a distant blue sky. In the midst of it all, stood a white-haired maiden, like a goddess descended from the heavens. With a mere wave of her hand, she brought forth a new season, transforming the streets below. This maiden was none other than the dead infant, now reborn as the Magistrate of Jinjo. When thunder roars in spring's embrace, the sun shall shine upon this place. For only through death and strife can one truly embrace new life. Hmm, I see. Doesn't matter. That's not important for our goal. We have the answers we wanted already. With the second resonance awakening, we will tap into powers that rival the sentinels. Complete control of the artificial resonator awakening process is within reach. And lastly, about that rover. This trip was worth it. We've collected many wonderful notes, haven't we? It's about time. Get moving. Can't let a certain someone wait too long behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> 